I guess. Yeah, we got the uh, rings right here, safekeeping. Okay, so I just It took you guys. It took, it took you guys so long. You can snuggle up a little bit. Nice flower. There we go. Thank you. On behalf of Connie and Drew, I'd like to extend a very warm and a very sincere greeting to this magnificent Rocky Mountain setting. I know they're very honored that their families and the very closest of friends are here for them on this wonderful day in their lives together. And Connie and Drew. I'd like to start a ceremony with an American Indian wedding blessing. May the sun bring in you energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. Let the rain wash away your worries and the breeze blow new strength into your being. And all the days of your lives, may you walk gently through the world and know its beauty. We are gathered here this afternoon to witness the formal joining of Andrew Raymond Pulaski and Connie Leanne Taylor in the legal state of matrimony. You are to be married according to the orders, customs, and the authority granted by the province of Alberta. Matrimony as understood by us is a state enriched by a long and honorable tradition of devotion. According to the law, each participant is equal and supports the common rights of one another to the marriage. There must be a desire for lifelong companionship. Couples will support and comfort each other through the changing experiences of life. May you laugh together in joy, grieve together in sorrow, and grow together Marriage means caring. As much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as about your own well-being. Marriage also means working together to create and sustain the home in which your marriage will flourish. And with this understanding, Connie and Drew wish to be joined in marriage. Now, ladies, gentlemen, this is our declaration of consent. Therefore, if any persons can show just and sufficient reason why these two persons may not be joined in matrimony, let them now declare reasons or else, from this time forward, hold their peace. I now call upon you both, in the presence of our witnesses, to repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I do not know. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any any lawful impediment. Why I Connie Leanne Taylor. Why I Connie Leanne Taylor. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Andrew Raymond Pulaski. To Andrew Raymond Pulaski. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Impediment. <laughs> well, I, I, Andrew Raymond Pulaski. I, Andrew Raymond Pulaski. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Connie Leanne Taylor. <laughs> to Connie Leanne Taylor. There you made it. <laughs> now we can breathe again. <laughs> oh, the tough part's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As no impediment was declared or admitted. <laughs> I require you to give answer to these questions. Do you, Drew, promise to give Connie the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding? 
Will you share with her equally the necessities of life as they may be earned or enjoyed by yourself? And to respect the dignity of Connie's own personal rights. I do. He practices lines. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Connie, promise to give Drew the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding. Will you share with them equally the necessities of life as they may be earned or enjoyed by yourself, and to respect the dignity of Drew's own personal rights? I do. We have lived together, enjoyed physical and emotional closeness. It has not been enough. Today I choose to make a deeper commitment to you, a legal and binding contract. It is my way of telling you that our experience together has been so good that I want to continue for the rest of my life. My loyalty belongs to you alone. I love you before the ceremony. I love you more because of it. Please repeat after me. I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present. To witness that I, Connie. To witness that I, Connie. Do take thee, Drew. Do take thee, Drew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances. In whatever circumstances. Or experiences. Or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. Now, Connie, would you like to share your personal vows now? Let's do it. Okay. I promise to share with you the good times of laughter and joyous moments with ourselves and with our families. I promise to share the bad times too, the disappointment and hurts, my fears I wouldn't dare tell to anyone else. I will not be afraid to tell you anything. I will try to be supportive of, of whatever brings you fulfillment. I will place a high priority on our relationship, putting your feelings above all others. Our time together will be important to me. I acknowledge that you are not a perfect human being, but neither am I, and I promise to be patient when allowing for those imperfections. I promise always to be honest and true with you, for I believe that love grows best when communication is present. There will be no room for infidelity. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our ring exchange, and may we have Connie's ring first, please. So, Drew, would you put it on Connie's finger? Just put it on the beginning part of her finger and hold it there. Okay. And then tip it toward the cameras. Okay. Now, Drew, having declared these marriage vows, you may place the ring on the third finger of Connie's left hand. And Connie's please finger. repeat after me. So, just hold them on there. Just hold it there. Please repeat after me. <clears throat> Connie, I give you this ring. Connie, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. You may place the ring in Connie's finger. <laughs> <laughs> and Connie, Drew, I accept this ring. Drew, I accept this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of your love and commitment. Of your love and commitment. Okay. And we have Drew's ring next, please. Thank you. And Connie, having declared these <clears throat> excuse me, marriage vows, you may place the ring on the third finger of Drew's left hand. And please repeat after me. It's the same thing. Yep, that's it. Drew, I give you this ring. Drew, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you will always wear it. <laughs> <laughs> In red. <laughs> <laughs> Underline. <laughs> as a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. <laughs> and as a symbol. And, and as a symbol, symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. Can we place the ring on Drew's finger? Andrew. Connie, I accept this ring. Connie, I accept this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of your love and commitment. Of your love and commitment. 
It is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Why trying to walk with it? <laughs> you turn to face me, please. Snuggle up a little bit. Don't be bashful now. <laughs> Andrew Raymond Pulaski and Connie Leanne Taylor. You have consented in marriage and have declared your solemn intention in this company before our witnesses and in my presence. You have exchanged these rings as a pledge of your love for each other. You have joined your hands to accept one another. And now, upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, I pronounce you husband and wife. You can feel your commitment with a kiss. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and in closing, so you got, now you guys can snuggle up, you know, you're, you're okay. not going steady, so you know, like, I'm all married up now. <laughs> May the sun bring you new happiness by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. Let the rain wash away your worries and the breeze blow new strength into your being. And all the days of your lives, may you walk gently through the world and know its beauty. Now you'll feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you is warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you is companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there's only one life before you. So go now to the dwelling, to enter into the days of your lives together. And may happiness be your companion, to the place where the river meets the sun. And may your days be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulties, and fear assail your relationship, as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you. Not only the part which seems wrong. In this way you can ride out the storms when clouds hide the faces of the sun in your life. Remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight.
dad and dad? Yeah. Wish you were here? We wish all our family was here. We had such a great time today. Such a beautiful, beautiful place. And we want to share this with you when we get back. Love ya. Bye.